It's like a Subway commercial where they talk about their footlong cookie or some shit. I, I, just, I just hit like 10 speed bumps back there, bro. Alright, I got a lead. I got no idea where I'm going. <laughs> to go on night rides with, so this is going to be a fun experience. I told him we were going to chill, because I don't, uh, I'm not that crazy yet. I don't like to go, you know, 150, doing crazy stuff. I like my limbs exactly where they are. <laughs> but this guy's pretty chill. He has a ZX-6R, and it is starting to sprinkle a few range off coming down. It's probably going to pass pretty quick. It's a small range shower, so gonna get too wet or anything it shouldn't hinder our ride but on a good note I did order an insta 360 camera that'll probably be here next week so I'm gonna film as much as possible and kind of learn all the techniques and all the angles and stuff with that so stay tuned for a bunch of shorts and videos and stuff coming out with that I'm gonna have a blast using that thing and my bike for some reason does have a error message that I recently got, it says uh, brake slide or brake control assist disabled or something, contact workshop, so I'm going to have to figure that out. You want to go? Nah, it's up to you. Okay. I think the error message may have popped up because I took it in for service to get my um, ignition cylinder replaced. So I'm thinking maybe they forgot to plug something in, like a sensor. Uh, that's probably my best bet. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, I don't use the brake slide anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll worry about it next week. Yeah, I met this guy, my friend here. I met him at a, a meet. I'll put some videos up of that. We were at a, a closed, and then we, we closed the road down, or it's a private road. Um, it was like an abandoned industrial park. The road's closed down. And everyone there was pretty cool. They were doing a lot of tricks and wheelies and different stunts. So it was a super cool event, and I want to do it again. Now, see, his tail light blinks like that when he breaks. I don't know how to do that. I'll have to ask him, because mine doesn't do that, but I want it to. I'll have to see how he did that. Or maybe it's stock, I don't know. But I know mine doesn't do that. the uh, battle axes on last time before I got these replaced or those replaced and uh, these ones are uh, I'd, I'd almost say they're better kind of wet out. It's more rain than I thought. I don't know. Hopefully the camera's not getting too wet. Probably is. I can't even see it. And I don't have the waterproof case on this thing either. If it breaks, it breaks. I'm testing out this new jacket I got from Revzilla. Shout out. It's called... Shit, I forget what it's called. I think it's a street steel... Um, something hoodie. It's got armor in the shoulders and elbows, and it's got a really thick, like, fabric, um, like, lining. It's pretty resistant and abrasive resistant. Um, it's been, it's awesome. This thing fits fantastic. So if you guys want one, uh, definitely go check it out. It's super comfortable. Uh, I took the shoulder pads out only because I think I may have gotten a size just a little too small. Um, so I took, I took the shoulder pads out because they looked really weird <laughs> with my shoulder pads in um, but I, I still have the elbow pads in so that's fine 
But yeah, no, it fits excellent. Uh, super comfortable. It's warm as well. If you're riding anywhere above like 50 degrees, it's pretty warm. Um, so I, I highly recommend this jacket, and it was it was pretty cheap too. It's only I got it for about 140 dollars. So for a riding jacket or hoodie, it's pretty good for this quality too. So definitely go check that out. And I'm gonna put a picture up of my chain. I, I recently found my chain is like I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. My my chain I think is wearing really weird. Like the the wear on it looks abnormal. If you guys also ride and you may have have like a endurance chain on a BMW or even an S1000, um, let me know if this if this wear on the chain is normal. I'm not 100% sure. I'm hoping it is. Um, I'm not sure what it could be from. Maybe rubbing up against like the guard or something. I don't know what it's from. But if you guys know or if it's normal, just let me know. Otherwise, I'll get it checked out shortly uh, with the um, dealership. Hoping it's fine though, because I don't want to pay that. <laughs> what is going on here? This dude cannot make a turn. Okay. That guy turned hella late. <laughs> smells like a laundry mat. Like off balls. Now it is finally getting warm out. So I think it's almost time to go back to the mountains. I am waiting for a really warm Sunday. I think maybe the beginning of March. I think it's going to be a good time for that. And I'll probably, I'll, I'll definitely have my Insta camera by then. I'm also not sure how long this battery will last because my GoPro batteries do not last very long. So if it cuts out abruptly, I do apologies. And also the Super Bowl is tomorrow, even though I don't watch sports. I just hope Mahomes loses. Sorry, any Chiefs fans. But no, I don't watch football, so honestly, I don't have an opinion. But I do see Mahomes literally on every ad all over the place. Even on the fucking gas station. And the stupid subway commercial comes on. And it's, it's him and Travis Kelsey. And I'm like, I'm not, like I, I see enough of these guys. But I can't even get away from them at work. <laughs> they haunt me even when I'm getting gas. It's like a Subway commercial where they talk about their footlong cookie or some shit. Oh, I just hit a bad speed bump. And their footlong pretzel, like what the fuck? Oh my god, speed bumps are so fucking annoying. But they put two giant, like that one. They put their two giant mammo covers right next to each other. I just hit two of them twice in a row. Fuck. What a pain in the ass. lot of comments talking about how I don't change gears very often. Uh, there's a reason behind that. So I will make a public statement here. Um, the reason I ride my gears so high is I read on forums along with a few other expert sources that uh, keeping your RPMs on a sport bike, at least this is, so this is just for a sport bike or a super bike or whatever you want to call them. So for bikes of this performance, riding the uh, RPMs low can build up carbon in the engine and in the valves, which can lead to obvious issues later on. But keeping the RPMs, um, dude, these fucking speed bumps, keeping the RPMs higher will actually burn that carbon that may be kind of building up over time. So uh, I, I always keep my, my gears low and my revs high. Now obviously in situations like this where we're just cruising around town, uh, obviously they're going to be low. I, I can't avoid that, but later on once I get on the highway and stuff, it'll I'll be a higher RPMs and burn more carbon. Keep the, uh, the valves hotter, the cylinders hotter, everything's going to burn hotter. If my bike didn't need service before, it will now. I can just hit like six mammo covers. God. Utility work ahead. Doubt it. Starbucks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't have much battery though. <laughs> I know it fogs up so much. It's like. Do what? Yeah. 
I can see the water on your... Yeah, mine's tinted too, so I can't see shit. <laughs> like the manhole covers? Yeah. I just hit like 10 of them in a row. covers like oh my how many do you need <laughs> that car just that car just went over the entire median you see that <laughs> I don't got a time what about you I'm it doesn't matter to me you know you want you want to head back out at like 8 45 8 30 8.30? Yeah, Alright. Yeah. I gotta check my forks after this. I fucked my suspension up. I had to have. There's no way I didn't. I swear to God, if I gotta go in and get fucking suspension replaced, I'm killing it. Okay, definitely avoid that. Holy shit. That was crazy. Somebody's smoking the devil's lettuce. Uh, now I can actually see the potholes. So. Before I couldn't, I, I couldn't see the bottles. I literally was at the mercy of just luck. Now we're in the city, baby. Sure. <laughs> All right, I got a lead. I got no idea where I'm going. <laughs> uh, let's get the fuck out of the city. Yeah, I actually don't know how. Uh, so I might be... We might be stuck here because I don't know how to get out. <laughs> Do you know how to get out of the city? Uh, I, I okay, yeah, because I don't. <laughs> All right. All aboard the getting lost train. If you drive a Ford like that, fuck you. So if, if the video, if the battery does die before I get home, I will say this now. Thank you guys for watching. I will, next video, I will have my Insta360 up, up and running. So you'll be able to tell a difference straight away. I'll be able to record in 4K and all that fancy shit. So definitely enjoy that next time you see me. I'll get some good point of views in 3D or 3 third person, whatever the fuck. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So catch you guys in the next video. And I'll see you then. Stay, uh, stay safe out there, guys. Get